but like the battle system and everything it's like the N64 and the Thousand Year Doors Mario yeah I, I have played I have played a little bit of the N64 I have played like the Thousand Year Door oh Thousand Year Door it's like the best one out of all I love that one so much Usually they don't take they, sh they usually don't take that too too long maybe like 20 25 hours but the games usually you do get stuck at a lot of parts and you do have to figure stuff out like in Paper Mario I could probably be like 12 15 maybe 20 hours Sticker Star I can probably beat that in however I get lost a lot in Sticker Star so I have to like go back and figure out what to do but. But that's technically what how long the Paper Mario game is now. They're usually like 20, 25 hours, so not too, too long. Then, let's see, what other ones I No, I got like Kid Icarus, I like that. Um. Resident Evil Revelations, I actually did like, but the game's just way too short. That's my problem with it. How long was that, one? that took me eight hours to beat the story. It's 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 like it's a, a lot like the console games. Oh, we're doing this map again. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a lot like the console games, but it's just really really short. That's the problem with it. And then you're like you're forced to play the single player in the beginning, and then once you beat the game the first time, then you can play a co-op multiplayer online. Oh, yeah. It is a lot of fun though. It's not, it is a lot of fun boss-wise. I think the bosses are actually better than the ones I like Resident Evil 6, but it's just really really short. Then, I think the only other game I got was like Pokemon Black 2, I think. That was probably about it, handheld wise. I didn't get too, too many games on my handheld. Which... Well, then I think the mic went out a little. Like you're sounding normal. Like I heard you saying, like I only got in, like the only 3DS game I got in was, and then after that I just went out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Now it's working just fine, but before it just like went out. And then after that, the next thing I heard you say was, "Can you hear me now?" Or... <laughs> Okay. There we go. Yeah. I, um, I know I know there's a Kingdom Hearts game, but I didn't get that. I figured there'd be a price drop on that. I'm in the States. What was that? Boxing day? I'm not sure what that is. Okay. 
why is Boxing Day anyway? Oh. Uh, I'm not sure, yeah, I'm not sure if they have anything like that. Like, I know we have like Black Friday, then after that we have like Cyber Monday, but that's really about it, as far as I know. What well, my favorite game this year? Xenoblade definitely would be a top favorite. After that... Halo, I think, kind of surprised me a little bit. I actually do like it. Then... I'm probably gonna end up saying like The Walking Dead once I get it, but I might end up getting it after a year, more than likely. I don't want to be dead. Pirates? Yeah, I, I think it actually deserves it from what I've been hearing. It definitely deserves it. Like, I think it's kind of like uh, like the Mass Effect with the choices and everything, and then it carries on to the next episode. And I think Season 2 comes out sometime next year. It's basically just a sequel to it, but... Request confirmed. Oh, sorry. I think they're supposed to be like a sequel to it next year. Like, I know they have like Season 1 just finished up with Episode 5. Yeah, Is it? Like, whatever. Yeah. I was just saying that I know... Um, like, there's Season 1. I know just finished up the first five episodes, and then next year is supposed to be another five episodes, I think. How about you though, what games did you enjoy this year? Enemy team nearing victory. Okay. Okay. 